Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Ohio Homestead. Um, this is this is my gardening. I haven't done a lot of gardening videos because I just didn't have the time to do it and work and everything else. Well, that's kind of taken care of. So I was getting ready to plant my fall garlic. So I thought I'd show you how I plant my fall garlic. I'm Jennifer. Um, I do gardening videos. I also do knitting and crochet videos if you're interested in that. Those are my Jedi Dragoon makes, but these are just my, this is just me gardening. So, um, thank you for coming and let's get started. So I'm doing square foot gardening, which is a 12 by 12 inch square foot garden. And you plant this, like the garlic or the seeds in a grid pattern. So I'm planting garlic and we do those nine, nine seed spacings per square. So that equals out to about three inches per uh, plant. And so I have a ruler, and my favorite thing to make a grid with is bamboo skewers. What I do is, you can kinda see, I lay out my ruler, so that's up against the board right here, and then I'll take a bamboo skewer. You can get these for a dollar like about anywhere. And then I poke it down in here, and then I'll turn my ruler so that it's bumped up against this. Here, let me move that bag so you can see. Yeah, it's bumped up against the bumped up against the stick right here. And then here's the end of then the ruler's over here. So I'll just take and do another skewer in the ground right next to it, like that. And then I don't have to put a skewer against the board because I know this is a square foot area. But, let me just turn you a little. But what I will do is take and push the, let's get you over here so you can see a bit better, is take and put the ruler up against here, the corner of it, corner of it right here. And then I'll take and at the other end put another bamboo skewer right there and that's how I measure out my garden let's get you right about there there and then I'll do the same this way and just keep doing that all the way across the bed these are eight this bed I can is about 10 foot planting space by four foot so um, That's how long they are. So, today we're doing garlic. And my planting method is not real precise, but one thing I'm going to be precise about is I have over here in my big five gallon bucket is a bunch of old fertilizer, garden time fertilizer I have. It's just been sitting here because I've been doing different gardening method than usual. and but I'm just going to go back to using what I have on hand. So what I'm going to do is for every square foot, I'm going to take a tablespoon. We'll measure it out like this and then I'll just sprinkle it in the square like that. Work it in with my fingers like that. And that is how I fertilize. So the two types of garlic I'm planting today are the Susanville. It's a soft enough variety I've grown before. It does really well. And Patrick, please go play someplace else, honey. I just want to watch. Okay, well, you watch from over there. Say hi to you nice people and then go. Okay. Hi. Sissy, go ahead and say hi. I can hear you back there. Hi. Okay, now go play. And the second variety I'm growing is called Dugonski. Okay, you can't see the name on there, but I can read it through your label. It's a hardneck purple variety. I just think the purple garlics are so pretty. And it also is another one that does great. Uh, I bought a two pack, so I got two eight ounce packages. And I'm sure you've seen this before, but I'll show you again. Did I just mix up the two packages? No, this is the well, if I did, I'll figure it out in the spring. <laughs> I'm not marking them anyway. Yeah, this... 
Now, this is the Dugonski, this is the Susanville. The Dugonski, you can even tell right now that they have a little bit of purplish color to them, whereas this is completely white. But it's kind of hard to see on video. But anyway, this is how you break apart garlic. You just break off a clove like that. That's, that's the end that you put in the ground, and this is the pointy end you point up. And all you do is just pretty much break the cloves apart like this. One at a time. Not really that hard. Pretty simple. Try not to peel the garlic because then it might not come up. I have one I kind of peeled, but I think it'll be okay. Because as you can see, peeled off a little. But it should be fine. So, we're just going to go through, break apart the head. And they say plant only big uh, big cloves, but I plant all mine because even if they're kind of small, we'll still use them. And so I got these all broken apart. And now what I like to do is to take my garlic and lay it out here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's make sure. I'm sorry about the camera work. All right. is okay we're going to set you there and now i'm going to try there we go now you can see what i'm doing okay what i'm going to do okay tilt bring you forward a little more is i'm going to just lay these out in a pattern of nine per square so the six kind of in the way but anyway, so go ahead and lay these out in a square of nine. Kind of adjust them in a square of nine like this. And then all I do is pretty much take two fingers because my soil is really loose and nice right now is take it cover it up and I think I just covered one up okay so I will repeat this nine more times I just push it down in there cover it up push it down in there cover it up I'll decompose somewhere over there in that garden bed where I'll probably have oh. potatoes next year. But anyway, so, and we just do that and I'll, let me, there you go. And that's how I plant my garlic. Um, I got to do this a bunch more times to get this all planted, but if you like this video, please like and subscribe. You'll get some knitting stuff. Uh, gardening's not going to really kick into gear until next spring, so I just wanted to get this video made while I was doing it. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, like and subscribe. Uh, and I will catch you next time I get out in the garden or I try to grow anything. I might do some microgreens, um, but I got to get the microgreen stuff for that. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.